So I'm just pulling up to uh, one of our current flip projects here in Norwalk on Shady Lane Drive. And I thought I'd bring you in and uh, just kind of show you the status of this project. Uh, so you kind of get an idea of what we're working on here. The painter's in here currently. Um, I'll put some pictures, some before pictures of uh, how the project started before we did uh, a little bit of minor demo here. but. Uh, it's a four level split. It's a nice house. I think it's built in 06. Good, uh, good solid house. Just needs a little bit of cleanup. Get it opened up here real fast. Open up the lockbox. Looks like somebody left me a letter. So the painter's been in here the last day or two. And I think yesterday, yeah, yesterday they shot all the ceilings. So the ceilings weren't in bad condition, but we went ahead and had them clean those up. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure. No, I don't think they've painted the ceilings yet. They still have everything taped off. It looks like they're still finishing uh, uh, getting everything covered up. So basically, as you can see, we've removed the countertops out of the kitchen. We're gonna reuse the cabinets. They're in good shape. We're gonna put granite countertops in the kitchen. Um, we're gonna put a new stainless steel appliance package in here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, they're, they've been spending a lot of time patching a lot of holes all over the place. Pretty meticulous about uh, going around and getting these things cleaned up. They'll, they've taken all the doors off, all the interior doors, and uh, the painter will set up kind of a, basically like a spray booth, probably in the garage, plastic everything off, and uh, oops, they will, that way they can shoot all those doors and have, it, and have a nice finish on them. But uh, it's got a gas fireplace, it's a walkout, the patio back there, uh, it's kind of hard to see everything because it's all taped off, but we've got our uh, downstairs bathroom. You see the mess that was left underneath the washer and dryer when we took those out. Kind of disgusting. Garage, we've got an unfinished uh, fourth level basement down here. Good storage, or if somebody wants to finish that off, it'd be a real easy room to finish. We're going to, the carpet's still in here because the carpet installer is actually going to pull this up when they install the new carpet. That needs to go. Um, we got, uh, the upstairs is laid out nicely. We've got three bedrooms upstairs. Master, full bath, and then two bedrooms over here. Uh, decent sized bedrooms. As you can see, it gives you an idea. So on this level up here, they've already shot these ceilings. You can see the, kind of the overspray marks on the wall. So hit the ceilings first, and then we'll go around and Cut all that in on the walls for a final color. We're putting kind of a, this house has, uh, you know, colors always, it depends on if, if we've got, um, if we've got white trim in a house, it's a little bit easier in colors, but when you have stained oak like this, it's a little bit more of a challenge to pick a color, I think, that works good. Um, usually go with kind of a, I call it like a grayish, kind of a gray beige combo color, which is what we're doing here. And I think it should work out pretty well. So, not much to see in here, but here's the bathroom. And it does have a nice master in this house. It's a good sized room. Can't see in there because it's full of plastic, but that's a walk in closet. And then uh, the master bath with the uh, sink room and then the toilet tub or, or uh, in a separate room. So, Anyway, lots uh, lots of work going on here. I think the painter will probably be done this week. Um, the flooring is, I've got to get this ordered today. It's got just sheet vinyl flooring in the bathrooms that's ready to be replaced. I need to get that ordered. Uh, carpet's already been ordered, so that should be probably in about a week to 10 days that should be ready to go. And uh, we'll get this thing going. Do a little bit of stuff outside, power wash the deck. I'm gonna put some new exterior lights on the outside, uh, just some 
by the by the front door in the garage just to kind of clean that up a little bit. I need to do a repair on the garage door. Um, and other than that, this, this place will be ready to go. So I think it should be a pretty quick turnaround. I'm hoping about 30 days we should be able to get this thing on the market. But um, once we get uh, once we get a little bit closer to the end here, I'll shoot another quick video so you can kind of see the after uh, the after product what we've got. So you can uh, I'll put some pictures out from uh, before we before we tore out the countertops and everything, so you can kind of get the full uh, before um, middle and uh, completed project. So talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, so I wanted to shoot a quick uh, follow-up video here at the house in Norwalk. We'll get this uh, property done, completed, and the good news is we actually, uh, as you can see, we got it sold. We got it under contract in seven days actually, so a uh, real nice quick sale. So kind of a look at the outside. I'm not sure if I showed that before, but um, new exterior lights, painted shutters, painted front door. Last time we were here, we were in the midst of painting and everything was taped off, but painted, uh, I'm not sure how well it comes through on video, but um, kind of a light gray color. The kitchen, We've got granite countertops, We've got new appliances. I don't remember if those were in here last time or not, but our new uh, stainless steel appliances. Uh, put hardware in the kitchen, it was just, uh, no, no knobs or pulls before, so pretty pretty simple change, but it kind of dresses the kitchen up a little bit. New kitchen faucet. Um, downstairs, uh, probably the biggest change, I guess, is this new flooring in the winder room. And uh, not a whole lot other than just paint. We painted the whole house uh, floor to ceiling. New carpet. The laminate in the most of the main level was a good condition, so there's no reason to change that. But new carpet upstairs, new new bifold doors here. Not much to see in the bedrooms, basically just painted and new carpet of course. And the bathroom's got new flooring upstairs. Master again paint. We did put new uh, granite countertops in the master bathroom as well. So uh, new new faucets, new faucets in both the master as well as this half bath over here, matching. So anyway, just thought I'd kind of close the close the loop with you on this one. Like I said, it was uh, we got it under contract in right at seven days, which is great. I think the total fl total rehab process was, uh, it was just a hair, it was probably 45 days maybe, something like that. I was shooting for 30, um, but you know, every, it always takes longer than what you expect, at least for me it does. So I think we're about 45 days. So all told, um, you know, under 60 days from, from close um, to signing a contract, which I'm really happy with. So anyway, I just thought you might like to see the, uh, the after shots here. I'll, uh, Put some videos up again. I've got another con another house going under contract. Um, actually, at the end of this week. Today's Tuesday and on Friday. I've got another one that I'm purchasing. So uh, I'll try to get some videos of that one for you as well. So talk to you later. Bye.